advertisements, but now everybody has to have it, even the small ass shit channels. Which makes sense. They gotta, you know, they gotta cover server cost. Yeah, all right. Well, they say that <clears throat> it's time to start, but I don't know. They're being very quiet. Nothing's happening on stage. Oh no! Here we go. If I were you, I would edit out anything that has to do with sports because nobody gives a shit about sports. And yeah, nobody's gonna care. Nobody I will. Cares. Oh no! It's just the introduction thing. I thought like they were starting with FIFA like right yeah. off the bat. Which I wouldn't be surprised if they did, to no, be honest. just introduction stuff. Uh, probably, because, well... But FIFA's garbage. Oh, of course okay, it is. Okay, let me... Okay, okay, oh, okay, okay. Let me... Just like with Forza, I don't like either of those two types of games, so I can't honestly be the one to judge it, but as an actual normal gamer, which is someone who just, you know, likes to play a lot of different games, they're garbage for me. Oh, they're starting off with Madden. Oh, okay, so we can just skip the shit out of this. Oh, are they? Oh, yeah, see, and I think you're, you're ahead of me, because you're, uh, uh, East Coast. Oh, here we go. Mm. Oh, here we go. Madden, what awesome. Who gives a shit? Oh, uh, you an American. I have fuck all any idea who that, who that team is. Yeah, come on, Zach, this is it. This, hey, this that, is you to... that team? Uh, beats me. Oh, nice, uh, nice, uh, kind of... Oh no, it's buffering, that's good. Oh no, it's some buffering too. The, the, the logo on their arms. I know, but it's like it's still long enough to be safe. Alright. You have really bad eyes, don't you? Uh, uh, like yeah, everyone, yeah, people are saying it's lagging anyway. I think. It's not an eagle, it's a face. It's a person's face and it's forward. What the heck, what was that? It's cutting to the actual. Yeah, it's a football. Yeah, it's it's like it's like last year when they did that whole FIFA. Yeah, the thing FIFA for the thing. Soccer team, and it's just like they. You know, doing it for Madden. Oh, here's this. Here's a. Yeah, here's that story about this one guy or whatever. That, but it's like, not already in Madden as well. And it completely. Like I'm almost certain they already had one of these yeah. things for Madden. Ugh. Who gives a shit? Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at that! It's like his childhood and everything, man. Yep, oh, it's for the oh, guy that won the Just Oscar. Like it's like, it's like uh, the black guy that they always need to, you know, call up whenever they need like a supportive character in a story. Because uh, he was in a movie last year that won an Oscar. But there he is again. Oh, the guy who's the coach. Yeah, I think so. Oh, okay. Long shot. I don't. <laughs> Wait. I don't. Know. That an 18 long shot. Okay, who gives a shit? Well, that's an exciting start to this press conference. Yep, shows you how much we don't give a shit. Let's see. Round of applause for the drumline, guys. That's Madden like you've never seen it. And I might be. Oh, fucking shit, Madden, like we haven't seen it. <laughs> yeah, because Madden, they don't play drums. Are you shitting me? Welcome to no, it's not even that. It's just like, oh, it's, 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 it's a kid growing up from nothing, and now he's up at the top. Yeah, that's another point. Why are they always like that? Every story is like that. It's like they, oh, kind of like. Because it's supposed to, because it's supposed to connect, they're connect, it's honestly just marketing. They're connecting with their fucking uh, target audience, which is just fucking dumbasses. I mean, that's the thing. I can shit talk football all I fucking want. You know, American football all I want. Because that's the thing. People shit talk me like in video games. All right, you can fuck right off then. <laughs> Wait, this guy on the smartphone doesn't even care. <laughs> Look at that, everyone's on the smartphone. There's another guy on the well, smartphone. They can't play it yet. Yeah, but like, well, even too. So. Like, they're not even, they're not even like, paying attention okay, to the uh, conference. Oh, who cares? Yeah, I don't even pay attention to nobody. Yeah, no, nobody fucking cares. Nobody yeah. cares about fucking like, sports. Look at the rest of the sleepers in the chat. The chat is just surrounded by sleeping faces. You won't hear it just from us. You'll hear it from players. Right here. Yeah, because you don't listen. Cause that's the thing, I just immediately ignore whenever these motherfuckers start talking. Yeah. Because all they're going to just start saying is buzzwords. Like, he literally started off saying, That's Madden like you've never seen it before. Oh, that's a fucking lie. <laughs> that's a fucking lie. I'm not going to listen to anything he fucking says then. I'm just going to be talking over it because I don't give a shit. <laughs> Hour and a bit. Okay, that's how long it's going to be. Okay, no, no. Each with major reveals. Okay, eight new experiences. Okay, let's actually give them a chance. Okay, now they're paying attention. I keep on getting buffering. I keep on getting buffering. I've been. I've got buffering once or twice. 
What were they talking about? A lot of it positive, and a bunch of it constructive. Star Wars Battlefront was garbage. That's a euphemism for not as positive. Oh, there you so go. Today, Even if you made a reference to it. minutes of Star Wars Battlefront 2. No, oh, here we go. Just because it's fucking with me. All right, Battlefront 2. Battlefront 2. Yeah. Okay. I don't know what to expect. Is it going to be like? Is it going to look the exact the same? Or everything here for you. All right, what are they going to say? UIP, I don't know. New IP. Killer new trailers, demos. New trailers, and a demos. Bunch of live gameplay. All right, good. This is going to be a lot of fun, and it should be right. Killer new trailers. Because we're all here for one simple reason. All of us share. We're gamers. One fundamental belief, and that's that games are the best form of entertainment. On the planet. Eh, close enough. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they connect us like nothing else. They bring us together across oh, the hello. Countries. <laughs> yeah. They inspire us. They the fires of competition inside us. Just games allow us to do extraordinary just, things. Okay. Who gives a shit? <laughs> like, like he's trying. Games he's trying to get everybody all excited and shit. It's just like, who so. fucking cares? Where's you start just, off the press conference with fucking. Play, you start off the press conference play, with Madden, and you want to get people excited. <laughs> Fuck off. Nobody cares. This conference is being <laughs> held in like a. It's being held in like an internet cafe. It doesn't. It's not even in like a venue. To do with it, what we see, like, like oh, people like just in front of the stage, like on flipping like outdoor chairs. Three days we're here to celebrate play with Ugh. you, and what better place to start than with a game? Nobody gives a shit. Storm, oh boy. Battlefield One. I, no, th no, that's the thing. He's not okay. talking to us. He's talking to the investors. That's what he's fucking doing. Yeah, welcome to E3. Ah. Or that's coming. To the all right, so all right, Battlefield One. Jump to Battlefield right from the creative heart of EA Play. Alright, so starting with Battlefield 1. Oh, there he is, there's the guy. Hey everyone, I'm Andrew Galata, producer for Battlefield 1. Uh, uh, I'm behind you. LA. Pardon you. Oh no, uh, it's probably the buffering that was coming. EA Play, where your art community is creating new yep. content to share with players across the globe. It's unbelievably rewarding to see more than 20 million players embracing the game. Crafting their <laughs> Somebody in the chat was like, Battlefield 2? Question mark? In Battlefield 1. Let's do mm. it. I, I like Battlefield watch. 1. Android. Oh no, it's these guys again! Oh my gosh. No. Oh, I like these guys. What do you mean? I, I remember last year we got into a giant argument about them. I'm gonna stay quiet. They're fun. I like them. I'm gonna turn this down because this is really loud. Ba 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 ba. Oh, hello. Darkness. How weird is it that in this generation of like gaming, they're talking about like YouTubers are bringing their like their their feedback and stuff, and people are listening to them as if they're like, you know, as if they're like gaming critics or whatever. Well, they are. Well, I mean, if you do, you think if you play a lot of games, that means that you're warranted to you know go on E3 and talk about them like yes. this? Why? Yes. Because I've played them. Have the fucking, have the fucking, have those fucking, uh, have those, uh, I just said the word earlier. I totally fucking forgot it. <laughs> investors. Have those investors played the game? Fuck off, no. Yeah, but they're the ones, like, playing it That's in the, the first thing. place. They're just the ones, like, financing it. They don't care if it's gonna be good or not. They only care if it exactly. makes money. Exactly. That's that's no. That's the thing. That's what no. That's what this is. That's what this is. This is what he was doing on stage. That's him talking to the investors and just saying bullshit that, of course, most gamers would just immediately ignore. And people who are actually in the loop, not just with a ton of money, like they would actually fucking you know. Yeah, they I will, know what's going on. I will but say this right here. This is obviously just a just marketing going like, oh hey, pay attention to this because these are your people. Yeah, these are the people actually consuming your product and like broadcasting it. I love what I say, those are some pretty badass clips. Yeah, no. Yeah, of course. It's all marketing. This is all fucking marketing. They can... They... Uh, I'm... Uh, <laughs> Alright, come on, Zach. Try, try and see the happiness the whole, my, my, in this. No, I'm a cynic. Fuck off. I'm gonna find every little fucking fault and problem with this. Except for when it comes... Actually, no. Even when it comes to Destiny, I'm gonna keep on going out. Okay, so what are they... So they're just basically saying fuck you to Microsoft. So they're just saying fuck you to Microsoft. So they're just fu saying fuck you to Microsoft. You know, it's just like... It's bullshit. Okay, nobody gives a shit about your DLC because you constantly split up the player base. In the name of the Tsar, expands it's bullshit. To the blistering winter in the east. Are they really spending like five or so minutes talking about DLC? 
It's a very confusing. So I'm assuming they're not making a new Battlefield this year. No, they're just making. That's just DLC. Yeah. And then, like, I think I think they're happy enough to not get another Battlefield. Who gives a fuck? Who fucking fucking cares? It's DLC. What the heck? They start off their press conference with subtitles. Eighteen. I'm so okay. The subtitles now apparently. How fucking far are you? I don't know. Well, no, they still told me DLC, but like subtitles just showed up on my screen. And I didn't click anything. Okay, that's weird. But all I know is that this is fucking bullshit. Considering that it's just like, no, I'm sorry. They start. They start off the press conference with Madden 18, which is who gives a shit. Now they're like, oh, here's DLC. Who fucking cares? They've got jack shit to show. Then why are you watching it? I'm watching to see if there's like anything interesting that'll happen. Because EA's always like the worst, I think. EA's always like the one that you kind of drag through. But as we're seeing here, Madden 18 and Fibon DLC to start. Well, yeah, they probably, they may be the worst. Maybe they're trying to... Maybe... May no, they are the worst because they are pure evil. But the thing is that the thing is that um, I guess what they're doing is they're getting rid of shit first, and then they're gonna save the best stuff for last. Maybe, Hopefully. maybe not. All I know is that they're showing off DLC at a press conference. Yeah. I'm fucking sorry. Well, they ended they ended last year in Battlefield One, so that was their like big you know oh the the stick around. Uh, I'm not sure what they're gonna do this time around. Like oh, what's gonna yeah. be? It might be the new IP. I don't know. Mm, I don't... <sighs> so is this like a whole new like single player and all or is this just all multiplayer stuff? I think it's single player as well. Multiplayer. I mean, it's multiplayer. They never have single player DLC for Battlefield. Can I get rid of these subtitles? I don't think I can. Mm. Oh, look at oh there look we at go. Look at that, uh, Look at that! I mean, like, those are just off? investors! Fuck off! I mean, especially in the fuss. Hello, who is this? Now, this summer is going to be huge. So much new content, so much more to play, and so many new ways to play. And there's one more thing we'll bring to Battlefield. Later this year, we're going to give you a new... Blah, 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 bullshit, bullshit. We've heard you. you want buzzwords, buzzwords, buzzwords. Yeah, there we go. You want all out war build for all right. Pay that battlefield experience. To and to Tighter experience. I can't wait to share more with you guys at Gamescom. Now, competition. I, I should just get one of those fucking air horns to play every single time I hear him do a buzzword. Oh, esports. That's what you should do. You should just. You should just edit, like, whenever you do this, just edit to where literally every single time he says a buzzword, just do an air horn. Just, <laughs> just you know, just... <laughs> you know, just fucking goddamn virtue signaling this shit out. I just fucking hate these people. <laughs> I hate this shit. Just bullshit, 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 buzzword, 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 buzzword. You gotta admit, though, like, cares. they're probably not as bad as what the conferences used to be. Do you remember, like, four years ago, five years ago? Like, towards, like, the end of the... Uh, like before the the one or the PS4 were announced, and some of the conferences were real. Like we had something like Connect and like flipping PlayStation Move and all that other crap. Yeah, it's been just dance, like people dancing yeah, well, on the at least stage. They showed off shit. All right, but no, they did that last year too with the full fucking like, like all the crazy costumes and shit. And then they decided randomly that it's okay to start while dressed up in crazy ass fucking costumes. That it's okay to fucking be in a mournful state. That's very disrespectful. I'm fucking sorry. What? What are you even? What are you even talking about? Stopped after last year. Oh yeah. Oh. Just dancing. No, no, that was Ubisoft. That was Ubisoft one. Ubisoft. Still. Still, that's very disrespectful. What happened? It's just like, I'm fucking sorry. They do that whole crazy number for just dance, and I'm gonna keep talking over this because I don't give a flying shit about sports. You're about to sports. You're about to, well, this is the e, this is the e sports snacks. There's a difference. Oh, I love how they actually have like grass like, underneath the, uh, the the console. It's like, what's that all about? As if you can actually play football. Ugh. Ugh. All I know is that. Basically, what they did last year at Ubisoft was just not fucking cool. I'm sorry, they did that whole Just Dancing, and it's just like, now let's mourn the attack 
buy a fucking mud slime against fucking the gay community. And I'm just like, I am fucking sorry you're gonna be dressed like that while being mournful? That's stupidly <laughs> disrespectful. It's just stupidly disrespectful. And this is just dumb. I don't care about this. Were you ever in doubt in that game? the whole time. Mostly because This is really just like a full montage of just the E League or something. Okay, so what's I'm wondering like what, what what is the strategy for this? So they're actually they're showing this montage. Is this to like entice people to buy the game or is this to just give raise awareness? I'm I'm very confused. Alright, now what? Oh, Oh my gosh, there's more feet, there's more feet. I froze. I... No, you're, well, you're missing, you're missing Ronaldo kicking the ball around. Well, refresh it. Okay, I froze, mine. My Again, you're, like, my I'll let you know if you change froze. anything. Oh, really? Jeez. Uh, no, I'm just, yeah, it just froze. I'm gonna go to, e I'm gonna go to IGN's instead of, uh, Twitch's. Alright, IGN might be talking over theirs, but, fair enough. I don't fucking care, I'm doing that. <laughs> that really doesn't matter to me. They're basically showing how like they're how they're making FIFA 18 at the moment. They've got like uh, motion capture on one of the footballers. See, okay, so do you have direct control over what you do whenever you play FIFA? Um, well, what do you mean? Well, I mean, yeah, technically, like I'm not sure what you mean by that. I mean, I mean, like, is it as much as control as you do when you're playing fucking uh, Dark Souls? Oh, if you do like the single player and stuff, you'll only control like one player. So you won't control the entire team, so you'll just, okay. you'll just control one guy. Uh, so yeah, in the single player mode you can do that. But as, in terms of like okay. a regular match, no, you control the whole team. So you won't have as much control over like people individually. How, how, the, hell, how the hell do you control the whole team? It's because whenever, whenever you pass the ball, like you change control to another player. And that keeps on going. Have you never played a football okay, game before? No, because I don't give a shit about soccer. Oh no, we got we got a another I just weird don't like care. we got another weird internet show going on. And it's sports, so again, nobody cares. So so well, yeah, so there there's Kevin Bacon. So yeah, they're they're showing like uh they're, they're putting a lot of emphasis on like the internet media community nowadays. They did that last year too, or maybe a two years ago too. Oh, yeah. they're coming out. Okay. Nobody cares. Okay, they care, but I don't care. So I'm just gonna keep talking because, again, I don't fucking care about this. Wake me up whenever they fucking. Yeah, I don't. I, I don't. I don't know what this is gonna do with uh, video games at the moment. Yeah, they got these two guys in here. I think they. I think they run a. Yeah, I think they run a podcast. So I don't know what they're doing at a gaming about convention, sports. but yeah, about sports, about football. Maybe I don't know. I don't know these people. And when I speak to players around the world, they want to tell me their experience with FIFA runs so deep, deep it actually impacts the way they play on the field. That is our... Yeah, yeah, FIFA, oh, this is together. very interesting. Look at, this. Yeah. Look at how the world's game comes to life in FIFA 18. Player personality that differs. I mean, the game looks good. I'll give it that. From the smalls. They've even perfected the inimitable run style of Raheem Sterling. No, it doesn't. That's pre rendered cutscenes. Uh, and probably, actually. And, and these atmospheres, Rog, take a look at this. They make it feel like you're in the Argentinian sun with your pasty white legs. And this is massive, Rog. They've now got the ideal athlete helping to develop the game. Is there anyone better and more genetically sound? Than Cristiano Ronaldo. Okay, so is it just me, or have I been just, or is it just like I need to start actually watching more football, just for this, you know? Yeah, nor, you know, rent, you know, just football. I need to start looking at that and uh, seeing if they all have stupid faces while fucking playing. Well, I mean, you're you're constantly running around a field for like 90 minutes, so it's kind of hard to look good when you're doing that. Okay. Right, like I just realized, huh? That guy has a stupid face while he's doing stuff. He has and then I saw it also in the fuck in game too that they also had stupid faces and I'm just like, do they all do that? Is that yes, just normal? Yes, the realism. I don't. Again, I'm, I'm, we're not really we're not really learning much about the game itself. 
We're just kind of learning, oh, Ronaldo's running around in motion capture and look at some cutscenes and that's it. Because again, it's like with fucking racing games, you really can't do much besides doing crazy shit. I mean, it's fucking sports. It's fucking sports. It hasn't changed at all in a long ass fucking time. No, oh, mate, apparently... Hold on. I, I think they're they're bringing back like the story mode from the yeah. first game, like from the big game last year. Sorry, yeah. and like it's like season two yeah. of his story. Yeah, we could have used him today. That's not good. And look how much I don't care. I'm needing to call my grandmother right now. Go back. All right. He's experienced more in his first season than I will in my entire life. That is true. It was Sad quite the true. start to a truly amazing journey. But the life of every footballer is a journey yeah, filled with victory, defeat, glory and conflict. I mean, do you care about this at all or no? No, not really. No. I'm, just, I'm just listening to see if anything... I want to see what this new IP is going to be about. I don't know, Davo, but it seems... Is this the one that Matt was talking about yesterday with the like, Bioware is working on? Do you think? One question on everybody's lips. What? Do you, uh, do you think the new AP is going to be like the one that Bioware was talking about? Oh no. Okay, now they're doing like a fake commercial for like Alex Hunter, the footballer. Yeah, that's what they did last year too about that one black dude. It's like, here's how to alienate a ton of fucking people. Let's talk about this one sports guy that you only know about if you actually pay attention to sports. Well, it's the way he's also fictional as well. So they're they're interviewing all these guys about a guy that doesn't exist. Wait, really? Yeah, Alex Hunter is like the name of the guy in the story mode. And they're interviewing these people to be like... No. Based off of some guy. Well, yeah, like an actor played him, but the act, but like the character itself doesn't exist. Oh, well, that shows you how much I don't know anything or give a shit about sports. <laughs> I, I seriously thought that that was actually it was actually based off of an actual, you know, an actual guy. No. Yeah, it's just some character. Okay. Yeah, the journey hunters return. That's what they call it. I. I thought that guy that they were like showing off was an actual guy, and he had actually like a pretty interesting story. But again, I just didn't give a shit because I, I don't, I don't care about sports. And no, it was Need for Speed next. Like Forza. No, it's Need for Speed apparently. Eh. Need for Speed Payback. I'm going to slap this fucking jean-wearing shirt, motherfucker! He is such a hipster. Get the fuck off the screen. <laughs> Zach, calm yourself. I'm fucking sorry. To no, <laughs> fuck you. Did you hear how he was talking? I can barely hear him over here yelling like over him. Listen to him. Hey man, uh, thanks Jesse. Um, obviously we're really excited to tell everyone about Need for Speed Payback here today, but more importantly, show it. In payback, you this guy sounds like Christopher Walken. Fucking hipster. We're going to show the gameplay. Yeah, no, this guy's just got a... It's just normal. That guy with the jean jacket. Fucking, look at that douche. Look, cut on the sides. Shaved on the sides and hair at the top. I don't think, I don't think he's got any glass in his glasses. <laughs> They're like transparent. Oh, look at, look at the acting on that. Look at the arms going. Oh, now he's got some, now he's got some fucking in it. Fuck off. Get the fuck off the screen. Oh, it's from GTA. You get to play as three different characters. Oh shit! Oh, this is still Need for Speed, right? Yeah, yeah. Are we gonna get any gameplay or uh, just a load of screenshots? Fucking, yeah, no. Yeah, only screenshots because no gameplay, no hype, folks. Them's the rules. Visual and performance customizations, as well as introducing something on top of that, something we call the relics. So again, that looks nice, but again, no gameplay, no hype. I mean, there's gameplay in the back, but that's just customization. Speaking of customization, my homie Nick. My homie Nick, did you hear that? He looks like he's customizing a. My homie Nick. I want to strangle. I want to strangle him with his own dumbass haircut. <laughs> Gonna strangle him with his hair. No, I'm seriously. Look at look at that. Shaved on the side. Oh, they're gonna. I think they're gonna show some gameplay. Why? That's like that's like the typical haircut. It's like 
It's like have your hair slicked back oh, and like shave sides. Yeah, shave sides and hair it's like oh my fucking Christ. All right, gameplay. Get hype. It looks like exactly like the other one that they showed off. Like that hot pursuit or whatever where you actually could play as a cop or whatever. Oh uh, yeah. Or I mean, whatever it was, yeah, something like that. Uh, I mean I mean, people who like, you know, you know, cars will play like this game, like Isaac. But I just, I just don't care. Uh, I just oh, actual don't gameplay. Fucking care. All right, let's see what this is like. I'm not, I'm not. I, it looks like I, exactly I, like the other one. I don't, I don't mind the uh, racing games to be honest, but I'm just wondering what they're gonna do, like in this game. Like, is it gonna be any different or anything? Or no, it's it's racing. It's a racing game. You really can't. Oh, do it's like anything. burnout. Oh, see oh. that. No, oh, it's burn yeah, destruction. Uh, okay, that's It was existing oh, camera angles and everything. Before. It better not do that every single time you wipe somebody out cuz that's going to completely break the flow. Yeah, that would kind of you, you get sick of it after a while. Oh, that that's also kind of annoying. Like, yeah, is this like, is this good like he drove behind the truck and then just went to a cutscene. What? Again, what else can you do? What else can you do in a racing <laughs> no. game? Sorry, people are bringing up Islam because he ran into a truck. Oh my gosh! Twelve and twelve and twist chat. Oh dear. Oh nice. Oh yeah. No, I'm actually. This is this is from confused. Burnout. This is uh, Need for Speed Burnout. Yeah. It is yeah, Burnout. He's just much. bumping I'm into actually, the cars. I'm seriously confused. Like, okay, the game looks pretty, but again, that's all you can really do to a fuck. Ooh, tumbleweeds! It's like I'm fucking sorry. This is a racing game. You really. And they said they're gonna do it again. Yeah, they said they're gonna do it every time. It's breaking up the. It's breaking the flow. I mean, it's cool to look at, but it's breaking the flow. Yeah. Why do you think they? Why don't they just make like another Burnout game then? Because this is this is just Burnout. What what's happening right now? Which is good. I love Burnout. Like Burnout's one of my favorite series. But like. This is all. Why? No, seriously, you really, you really can't do anything if it's a realistic racer. You, there's nothing that you can do anymore. Yeah, I think that's why they're making this one a little bit more like action-packed like this. It's like more, you know, action movie. Oh, cutscene. Okay, did that... Keep it steady and she's nowhere near the fucking thing. Yeah, oh no! Oh, and I got buffer. I got a buffer. This is the same cutscene's going on. Yeah, I assume it's just... I'm like, I don't fucking care. What, what are they actually doing? Are they robbing? Gar oh my goodness, okay. They're, yeah, they're grabbing that, yeah. And that cracks me out of nowhere. Oh, now you're playing as somebody else. Oh, you're playing as her. Mmm, okay. Mmm. <laughs> Adrenaline pumping. <laughs> and it's goddamn Twitch Twitch chat, Twitch chat's going to female, drag, uh, female drivers, SMH. We have uh, women drivers, women drivers. Mm. I'm not gonna lie, that didn't look half bad. So far, that's the only thing that's kind of interesting of this first conference. Okay, and ba you, Battlefield wasn't just that bad either. Games that I don't give a shit. It was DLC. I'm fucking sorry. What? Yeah, that's the only downside about this general Battlefield that stuff. That's I'd rather hey, I'd rather have yeah. DLC for that than for an oh Battlefield Modern Era, the fifth game. Mm. Oh. <sighs> <sighs> what is this? Their indie stuff? I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, Alright, this is be interesting. Alright. Mm, I guess. Today, I want to introduce you to our next EA Originals. But wait, is it really indie if this big company backs them? They probably finance it, but they probably have no involvement in the uh, like creation of it. Oh, <laughs> bullshit! Considering how many tendrils that EA has. No, this is just no. This is just a marketing fucking stunt. I don't know. I, I think be in independent development too, and independent means not backed by a big fucking company. Well, backed and backing is only for like publicity and stuff. It's not for like you know people like manipulating the way you create the game. Still not a fucking independent if it's being backed. Even if even if they give them no money and all they do is give them exposure, that's still being you backed sold by out. a big company. You sold out. Everyone in the chat really exactly. wants. Everyone exactly. in the chat really wants to get for. Which I'm not surprised. I'm back out because it keeps fucking buffering. Take a look. All right, he's he's gonna unveil some of them now. 
that's your plan. Tell me if any of them look interesting, because it's not, it's not an indie game if it's backed by EA. Have you ever heard of He Is Light? Makers of Brothers, A Tale of Two Sons? Oh, if only Matt was here. He, he played that game. Oh, right. Alright, they're in prison. What is this, Shawshank Redemption? <laughs> Twitch chat's being nice and anti-Semitic. Uh, anti sure okay, yeah, they're in prison. I need, I, need, I, need to I need to see that movie, The Shawshank Redemption. Yeah, I haven't seen it in such yeah. a long time. Oh, it's cool, up. I haven't seen it. Yeah. Oh, this is actually kind of cool. What is this? Is this? This is a pretty good camera. I think, I think these guys are trying to break out of prison. It's like it's you and there's okay. like two. It's like a co-op game where you break out of prison. I think. So yeah, it is like the Shawshank Redemption. Yeah. Well, then they're not trying to break out, okay. but like, oh, do they escape? Oh, they do. Okay, spoilers. Hmm. That's kind of cool. Okay, this looks fun, but again, it's not. It's not an indie game if EA backs them. That's not what an indie game means. Well, the store, well, the studio that made this aren't indie. This is just, uh, this is okay. just a game that EA is working alongside. Oh, okay. A way out. It's not bad. Yeah, no, it's it not good. great. That's okay, probably, so probably be a, an interesting game to play out. Play with like some. Oh no, we're actually going to talk about it. All right. Hey. Oh my Christ. Uh, but I guess I was right. Start off with the crap. Just go like, here's another Madden game. You know, nobody actually really gives a shit about that. Here's yeah. DLC for yeah. Battlefield. And it's like, okay. I'm just glad they're talking about like different games now. All right, I want to listen to this guy. What are they going to talk about? All right. And this is the reason why I started Hazelight Studios together with the team behind Brothers. And working with EA's originals was perfect for this. Because we have the full creative freedom and trust from EA to deliver the game we truly believe in. And that is very important for his life. Yeah, you see? You they have complete creative freedom so, the idea for to work on this stuff. came to me when me and a friend trying to find a co-op game that wasn't just a drop-in, drop-out experience. I wanted to play a game where the characters had unique personalities and goals. A game where me and a friend can embark on an emotional journey together. And this is exactly what a way out is. The game is designed for split screen co op only. And I what? Only. Oh no, that's ruined. To play it online, ruined. But to get the full experience. Oh, they just said, they just said it's going to be like prioritized for split screen yeah. gameplay. And oh, no. So, like, uh, there is online on in it though. Yeah, couch tonight, right? Okay. Action. Finally. <laughs> yeah. And. Uh, what was I gonna say? Yeah, let me tell you. Okay, wait, it's coming to me. Ah, uh, uh, come on. Gameplay-wise, it's gonna be crazy. There's gonna be a huge amount of variety. Uh, couch co-op is dying. I guess it's a good thing that they want to revive it. Yeah. And keep it going. It's gonna be exploration, uh, driving, action. I so said, you want to get tired this game. I'm telling you. So, but let me tell you this. After you finish playing A, a Way Out, I will tell you, you will play a co-op game like never before. I know, I, I mean... Ouch, I that's, that's, that's a bold statement. I know I sound very cocky, but I can't help it because it's true. You will never play a co-op game like it again. It's crazy. Jeez. I, no, I live, breathe this game. Bull. I'm telling you. you know, <laughs> more buzzwords. There you it's go. so Don't passionate. Edit that, in. edit that air horn in. Edit that air horn in. Fucking no one look. This is a new experience. New and innovative game. Just air horn all the fucking time whenever they talk. I'm so proud and happy to be part of this industry. It's crazy how fun it is to be here and do these games. It's so much fun. And also, one last thing. Also, one this guy's very passionate. I, I like that. To my Hazelight team watching live from Sweden. Thank you. Goodbye. Hop shaky. Boom. Come on. Hop shaky. Boom. Come on. All right. What's next? All right, the next game. A way out is a story driven oh no, it's the same. Oh, they're doing it again. Sweden? Yep. Oh, they said something in Swedish and then boom. Which means you have to play the game with a friend, either online or on your couch. Trucks. The game starts in a prison. You play as Vincent and Leo. You and a friend will get to know your characters and unfold their story together. You don't know anything about me, man? Maybe not. But Harvey killed someone very close to me. With or without you. Oh, did we get man butt? Let me I think we get man butt. No, I'm not surprised. Oh yeah, that looks that looks pretty bad. Was already in prison. On the left, 
you see Vincent, who just arrived. Now, if you look to the right again, you can see that Leo can be controlled, while Vincent is in a cutscene. Oh! Well, that's kind of cool. Oh. Here's another one. Vincent and Leo oh. are now in the laundry room. Your goal is to smuggle sheets using a laundry cart. You can approach the scenario in different I'm ways. Either I'm gonna see so many fucking people just dicking the fuck around. Well, in the other yeah, in the cutscene, yeah, he's, he's gonna just walk in. It's, uh, like start teabagging. I don't like. Or with Leo. Get over here, you idiot. Yeah, but I think those two guys are just about to fight. Ah, uh, what the? What? Who's him? In a way out, you will experience something new all the time. Everything you do in the game is unique for that scene. We want you and your friend to be focused and engaged throughout the entire story. But let me tell you, this is just the beginning of what you will be experiencing in a way out. Oh jeez, load. Okay, this looks fun. Yeah, it's very. Uh, so I like, I, I like, yeah, I like how different it is. So many fuck ups. There's gonna be so many fuck ups. <laughs> yeah, not bad. I'll give it a. Oh, it's coming out uh, next year, early next year. Okay, I'll give it a wee. I'll give it a plus. Why not? Mm. All right. Okay. Don't tell me that's it. Um, thank you, Joseph. Thank you. <laughs> is that their only fucking? I hope not. Uh, I got some chips. Uh, now let's switch gears for just a minute. It's great to be here showing you the games you'll play this year. But at the same time, we are inspired to look farther ahead. Creative ideas combined with new technology... Don't say VR. Unstoppable force. Don't say VR. We have teams today taking technologies that are changing the world. And using no, it's good for more VR. But nobody plays VR. Exactly, you know why? Because fuck all to do there. Too expensive for like fuck three games. games to play. Yeah, that too. Yeah, there's fuck all to buy. And there is too expensive. If they just give up on it, then it's not good. Responsibility we have to push our industry. Seed. That's one reason we created this new division. What? Seed is a small, stealthy team that I work with on a daily basis, exploring some of our most visionary concepts, like deep learning or neural networks. What? Creating a world for you to define, neural interact with, and okay. share as you wish. Or virtual, virtual humans with deeply sophisticated artificial intelligence. What the heck? Of one main what is it like a workshop or something? The fuck? I have no idea. Characters shaped by you. That's just the beginning of how we can blur reality and the digital world. Go anywhere, share your discoveries, be anyone. The games become yours. Now, what we know today is that interactive entertainment will change more in the next five years. Than it has in the last 45. Oh, Together, geez, okay. We are building that future. One that disrupts, empowers, and is full of play. And to do that, we also need innovative new platform technology. So when we were thrilled when we got our first project, Scorpio dev kits from Microsoft. Six teraflops and true 4K. <laughs> yeah, I've got teraflops. Now these Madden LF NFL 18 visuals are just a taste of what can be accomplished by Buzzwords, 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 buzzwords. Let's keep on praising Scorpio yet. They still haven't fixed their whole no games coming out for it Microsoft. No, let's just totally release a new entire console. Yeah, we've got fuck all games coming out for it. You shush. Madden's garbage. Body Scorpio is a powerful platform. It is coming at the right time. Oh, I still talking about Scorpio. I thought he was talking about this like, now, like seed thing. I have one more thing before I go. Oh, here we go. New IP is one of the purest forms of innovation in our industry. <laughs> a brand no kidding. New idea combined with the latest tech and a vision for something extraordinary. All right, so he's going to combine the, the new tech with this new IP. Every boundary for you. It is vast, dangerous, beautiful, and unexpected. So this is just the first tease that we're showing you today. Then we will have so much more in the Microsoft press conference tomorrow, so don't miss that. But for now, here's the first <laughs> glimpse of our brand new IP from BioWare. Uh, Bio, yes, from BioWare. All right, this is it. So we can't even show more of the new IP in their own press conference. They've got to wait until Microsoft. All right. All right. The wall. Trump. It's our armor. It protects us from what lies beyond. But out there, you either live.
live with the choices you make. Or die trying to Ah, I got buffer. I'm very confused at what Anthem. Was that it? What? It's just the beginning. That was the world's shortest teaser I've ever seen. No gameplay, no hype. Them's the rules. Nope. Oh my gosh, NBA. Hey uh. <sighs> oh you boy. Could have ended it on that. No, they choose to do NBA. Who oh, fucking cares? Wake me the fuck up. I'm going to go to bed. <laughs> I'm going to go to bed at like 4, like 4 p.m. Every aspect of gameplay. Now we're going to go outside to a hands on station out in FanFest. So you can check out some of those improvements, and then we're gonna come. Back well, that's the new. That was the new thing that we care about, the Bioware thing. Yeah, that was all it was. Yeah. Anthem. Anthem and no gameplay, no hype. We saw one guy. We saw one fucking creature walking around. We saw hashtag Trump the wall, and then we saw a mech suit. So that was it. See, what's funny about that is that I heard that also Mexico actually has a wall to Guatemala or whatever. They actually have their own wall over there. Ah. That's what I heard. I don't know if that's true or not, but I just heard that Mexico has their own wall. And they actually send people back over over down there. And it's just like, I'm fucking sorry. You guys are giving me shit. I don't know if it's true. I need to fucking see if it's true. Because that would just be hilarious if it's true. Because that means people just don't know. And they are completely hiding the truth. And it's just like, oh, how come Mexico can have a wall, but we can't? All right, so what we're looking at here... But nobody cares. Going to bed. Combination of moves I want. I can go behind the back, between the legs, and now I'm trying to attack the basket. But KD or Q cuts me off with a flick of his left stick, and then I try to go back at him again. This time I'm gonna go middle. What the hell was that? Ah! Did you hear that? No. <laughs> yeah, they have people, yeah, apparently people heard it in the stream chat because they're all like, "What?" Well, I mean, the people are going what in between the resident sleepers. I'm seeing because nobody cares about this. Yep, sports, nobody cares. This is the thing, this thing, the people who play these games don't, don't watch, watch this stuff. These. Yeah. They don't watch this stuff because they just hear that it's a new one's coming out. They don't watch this. And, and, and like, the being, I mean, they'll watch the trailer for it, but they won't watch these, like, in depth, like, precise. Yeah, exactly. Cause nobody, they don't care. They don't care. They don't care. Cause, no, I don't know why the fuck they do this. And everyone will have an opportunity to do so for a free demo coming in August. Did he just... What the fuck was that? Very stupid... What the fuck was They showed he, us, like, how, clapping, how you precise you need to be. Oh, that guy? Oh, yeah. Your own legacy through solo, co-op, and multiplayer experiences and carry all of your progress over to the full game. Now, let's take a look at the one. Oh, jeez. Is that my phone? Oh, this phone. is bad. Sponsor Hunter. Yeah. Oh man, it's gone back. Excuse me. Choices you make. Welcome to the one. The one unleashes the freedom to play how and with whom you want. Here, the respect you earn on the streets matters just as much as the rings you earn in the streets. Rise through the ranks in the league. An authentic NBA experience where you dominate the hardwood on your way to winning championships. But the new NBA Live goes beyond the league, taking you into the streets, where the rules and how you earn respect are different. Team up with friends to take down NBA legends at historic courts like Venice Beach. Throughout your journey, your encore performance leads to increased well. and new deals as your hype builds in both the streets. Hype. And uh, I don't give a shit. Join the community with five-on-five pickup games. Oh, when you said hype, you literally meant that's actually part of the game. Yeah, that's, okay. what, I, yeah, that's what I just said. Okay. Yeah, Which is very ironic. You said hype, and I'm like, uh. And show off your signature style. Oh, cool, I got meatloaf. Sweetness. Really hard to fuck up good meatloaf. Look, look, this is how much I give a shit about this. I'm I've, I've never had meatloaf. Right now, looking at this is your world. We don't eat meatloaf oh, dude, over here. it's fucking good. It's, you don't? Because it's just ground beef with fucking... Ketchup and fucking uh, well, it's it's like a mixture of ketchup and like um. I don't think honey's the right one. Ooh, yeah, we definitely don't it, have yeah, it. But basically, you cook it. Yeah, it's it's basically you put meatloaf, breadcrumbs to stick it together, and you put onions too, and then you just cook it in like an actual loaf, like a bread. Yeah. And See, I, I think I probably enjoy it, but like, yeah, there's nowhere in Britain that does that kind of stuff, obviously. 
But in the same way you guys would, you guys don't do like that, pie that, that much. Like you guys have pie, but it's not like the same kind of pie. Yeah, yeah, no, our pies are either very sweet or they're fucking. Uh, yeah, and they're all like thin and stuff. Pot pies. Yeah. Oh yeah, well we, we yeah, like our pie is like a pot pie typically, or like a version yeah, yeah, of it. Your like, yeah, your pies are just like yeah, it's, it's got pastry has, on it's it's it and stuff. Meat and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's not just sweet. Yeah, our pies are only just sweet stuff. Right, that was how exciting NBA was. We just talked about pie for about a minute. All right, now what? Meatloaf pies, and I was gonna talk to my mom, or because my grandmother called, because my mom lost her phone. She's like, I don't. I give a shit. Yeah, we got a massive finale coming up here in just a moment. Massive finale, apparently. Minutes of pure, unadulterated Star Wars. Thirty minutes of Star Wars. Before we get there, I wanted to pause for just a moment. Last week, we did something pretty amazing together. Did we? No gameplay, no hype, them's the rules. Play, what? What? We partnered with three outstanding charities. Char charities? What? Oh no! <laughs> Zach, have you heard of He for She? That's a fun charity. What the hell is He for She? It's basically like a gender equality charity. Which is, which is pretty you know, anonymous for being, uh, well, um, um, not very good. Masculine. No, it's not feminine. Obviously, it's like it's like more it's like campaigning for like women's rights. Is it like campaign? It's campaigning for women's rights. Like uh, by, by talking to guys. Yeah, what well, it was, but it's like by talking to guys about women's rights. That's why it's called he for she. Like they're trying to get guys to support it. He for she. Okay, so it's basically another fucking war. It's another fucking front for war against masculinity. Okay. Kind of. Ah, look, EA Access, Origin Access, and PS4. <laughs> Fuck all with Xbox. And like, exactly, like, it's just and a Scorpio. And then they've got their new IP coming out for the on the Microsoft conference. What? I don't get it. All right, Battlefront Two. They're pushing their damnedest. Mm. Well, this is such a weird marketing campaign. They're like, hey, do you remember when everyone complained to us about not having a campaign? We're gonna do it now. Oh boy. Oh no. Why is it oh, hello. white? Why is it not red? Hello. <laughs> Immediate wolf whistle as soon as we start talking. And I play Commander <laughs> Yep. Oh, oh, she's they an don't actress. Like to be catcalled, but that's a fucking lie. That's a fucking lie. They all like to be catcalled. <laughs> they all like to be fucking told they're pretty. That's just normal people. I like to be told I'm fucking handsome. Yeah. Fuck off. It's called vanity. Fuck off. People don't like to be doing that. It's like fuck off. <laughs> These fucking people. Liars. All of them. Tweet heard around the world. What? I never fucking heard about it. Well, I don't have a Twitter and I don't fucking care to have one. Okay, so this is gonna be... See, this this probably could be pretty good. Having, like, a, an original Star Wars story. So I'm optimistic. It better, it better not be, oh, you know, her only characteristic is that she's a woman. Or like she's, and, oh she's my just God, like holy shit! Look, 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 look at this! Look at this, guys! We're so progressive. We put a woman as our main character. Holy shit! No, you're not progressive. Yeah, I think I think people. Yeah, I think yeah, I think. And a sex symbol at the same time. Yeah, I think people oh, don't appreciate whenever like Where's they put. Literally? You know, I was, I was just about to say like I, I, don't, I think people don't like it whenever like you put you basically create a male character of all the male stereotypes and techniques and functions and stuff, but then just change the gender. It's like you got to kind of factor yeah. in the gender at some point, and it doesn't have to be bad. So that's that's why Bayonetta is the best fucking feminist icon because she uses her sex to defeat angels and demons. Yeah, and she's badass. 
She I'm doing don't it. give a shit. So I'm gonna be cuddling up with someone playing me some battle. She don't give a flying shit. In multiplayer. She's always in control. That is what female empowerment is. Uh, like, oh, but it's sexualized. You had no shit, and it's like, oh, it's probably made by a man. It's like, <laughs> no, it fucking wasn't. The original design concept in Japan was made by a woman, and she literally says, I drew her because this is why I envision female empowerment is. Star Wars is not just some checklist of fucking bitches. <laughs> She's still talking. I don't fucking care what she has to say. Gameplay or get the fuck off the stage. They're probably gonna do gameplay after this, hopefully. I would assume so, because why would they make such a big deal about Star Wars? Mm. Alright. Have the multiplayer, yep. Apparently, I, did, I played the multiplayer of Battlefront. It, I, it, I didn't like it. I thought it was too plain and just bland. Yep. Okay. Sounds like an awesome program, and if I didn't suck at multiplayer, maybe I'd get an invite. Uh, so, let's hear more from them about their time at DICE. That's true. Ugh. So, let's hear more from them about They had this kind of stuff last year as well, with these, like, uh, vignettes for, like, Star Wars. Yep. Are these more YouTubers? Yep. This is gonna stay, right? Nobody cares, no gameplay, no hype. Come on, hurry up, be done with this bullshit, this build up. Is that no gameplay there? It better not be 15 minutes of fucking talking with these people that I have no fucking idea who they are. And apparently they're really good. And then it's just like, oh, here's other 15 minutes of, you know, actual gameplay. It's just like, they said, thir they said 30 minutes of uninterrupted Star Wars. And it's just like, I'm fucking sorry it was already interrupted when that chick was talking. Special abilities that you can customize. It affects your health. It affects how you... Okay, that's somewhat gameplay. The menus, I guess. You're talking about how you can get abilities now? That's not bad. Oh, it's a uh, uh, first-person shooter this time. Oh no! What's no? The last what's the last it one? Was. First person shooter? Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. You could be third yeah, person though. Between yeah, yeah. Third oh yeah. yeah no, it's okay. Oh, okay. This gun feels kind of more weak. I don't really like the first person in it though. We're introducing a system called battle points, which will allow you to be. You had first or third person in uh. As you're helping your team play. Battlefront one and two, if I remember correctly. Hey Daisy, what do you want? Oh cool! You get to play as a super droid. Or even coming in as a hero. And the coolest thing, I think, is a level of customization, not just from a weapon stand. What, Daisy? Darth Maul. What do you want? Looks pretty cool. Hey. It looks very similar to the last one, though. Like, it's no... To know that you're giving key feedback to make it a better experience. No, seriously, the first one was just a tech demo, honestly. Mm. I'm part of this. No it was just showing off how pretty it is. Because, no, seriously, I'm fucking sorry. For the longest of time, literally pre ordering the game would get you the best weapon. No, the pistol you pre ordered was the best weapon. It was better than any weapon in the game, and you could snipe with it. <laughs> I, from what Ryan told me. And he played the game, and he had her, and he just said it was disgusting. Multiplayer gameplay. I'm just like, oh, I'm gameplay. sorry, what the fuck? Or, yeah, here we go, apparently. Yeah, Right, this is multiplayer gameplay, they say. Oh, PlayStation. <laughs> fuck Xbox. Oh, <laughs> again. Alright, well, oh, these are some nice so cutscenes. I mean, I'm gonna stop talking just because I actually give a shit about Star Wars. <laughs> no Darth Maul. He looks pretty badass. Oh, 
Oh, there's the woman. That's actually what's in. I actually. Mm, I, okay, so if this is new canon, this is interesting because originally what happened was in. Uh, the original canon was that after. Yoda, Darth Maul, we'll choose Kylo Ren versus Let me see. Was it? Yeah, no. Thrawn took over after the Palpatine was killed. Emperor Palpatine, you know, Darth Sidious or whatever. He was killed. Thrawn took over, but then after Thrawn got defeated by okay. Luke and his so friends or whatever, then fucking, um, just a moment, you come to find out that, oh, there was actually a clone on Tython of Emperor Palpatine that came back into power. So it's like, I wonder what they're doing now, because Thrawn is now not... He's in Rebels, and he's doing stuff. I don't think it's going to be canon, though, because none of the games have been canon so far. Yeah. Cause sure, uh, nicely the Republican stuff weren't canon, or uh, head head oh, for the, the, the Force Unleashed and stuff, they weren't no, canon. No, 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 no. Well, yeah, no, that was before Disney bought Activi or Disney bought the license. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, maybe. That's why they're not. That's why they're not canon anymore. This is now after that, and they literally said anything made after the acquisition is now canon. That's what pissed everybody off because they made everything they love non-canon, and they thought they were gonna fuck with it. But from what I seen they're actually taking this very well they're doing this slow and they're slowly bringing everything back in they brought back in Thrawn I do have some great news obviously you know I'm a massive fan of Star Wars Battlefront that's the and now we're going into the next chapter Star Wars Battlefront 2 that's fan I think but basically Ryan you know Alcatraz he really likes the Thrawn book in his new lore I'm just like all right Zach we get it shush shut up this is way too much information I'm gonna remember He's just giving me the whole Anna's buffering. Part of Star Wars Battlefront 2, alongside with Captain Phasma, as part of the first season of free content. And DLC boys. On top of that, we also get to play on the new planet Kray that you saw at, on the uh, Last Jedi teaser trailer uh, in April. So this is going to be an exciting time. I'm going to be playing. If you see Finn running around whooping some ass, it's me. Um, so I'm getting ready, getting set for you guys to play with me on Star Wars Battlefront 2, and I'm excited. Let's play. <laughs> Should I leave okay. the stage the, you were for just that? Finn and Phasma are headed to Star okay, Wars Battlefront 2 this holiday. And and for DLC. For Phasma? Yes. Yeah. What the fuck? The team at DICE yeah. heard our feedback loud and clear the, on the, the previous team. Battlefront. I don't know why people are like, oh, he's such a badass because he's black. No, he was literally just a failed Stormtrooper. launch for all players no I wonder how long that's going to stay free. I'd be probably gonna like Ugh. get better this next one. So the first season inspired by Star Wars the last Oh he's black, he's a minority, so he's a, immediately a good character, and I'm just like all post launch heroes. He can be anybody. What? I don't fucking know. For everyone who owns Star Wars Battlefront 2. Yes. And yesterday. Yeah, because of course so the player base with DLC is an extremely good idea. Player beta. And Yoda's epic lightsaber mastery star card. What? So let us recap. New essential star a mastery Wars story. star card. Multiplayer across all. I have no eras. idea what that means. Space battles. All screen co-op. And free. Oh, that was weird. They have the same beta, basically color and scheme as the Destiny one. That's weird. Yes. Right. Yes. Did you yes. see that? Was that just me? What? I that when they showed off the beta so thing, it looked like the, it basically looked like the same as Destiny. I wouldn't even know. I would. For Destiny 2. And <laughs> I can't. I don't know what the Destiny 2 one looks like. In November, and I get to start right now. So I'm Google it. Pick up my controller, and I'm going to throw it over to I, Justine, and Golden Boy, and Paul to take us to Assault on Feed, the world premiere of Star Wars Battlefront 2's multiplayer. Whoa. Thanks so much. Why do we need a panel for this? I don't know. Of Star Wars Battlefront 2's multiplayer game, mm. Assault on Feed. We are ready to show you guys the live gameplay for the first talk, time. Talk, 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 talk. Come on, hurry up. We've got Golden Boy and Paul Kessler, producer from DICE. What have we got going on here today, guys? We got a lot going on today. Uh, first of all, why are they doing this for like the three conference? Do you remember they did this um, last year, but they did it after the conference? Uh, like they did a, a, a Battlefield 1 like multiplayer match 
they're kind of wasting like conference time doing like a full match. Like I'll, I'll be happy seeing like yeah, I'll be happy seeing like two minutes. Yeah, they probably don't have as enough to show. That's probably why they did the NBA Madden and FIFA on the same conference. Yeah, because they got fuck all they do. Now if they spent ten minutes on Anthem and not wasted Microsoft's time, that might have been even better. But mm, what can you do? I can't wait. Are you guys excited? Man. So you were in fucking Battlefront 2. Great gameplay. We have some great, great game changes. We're going to be uh, competing here. And I use competing. Apparently Matt's going to be on in the next uh, couple of minutes, yeah, by the way. Yeah, no, it's been super exciting. And we got a chance oh, there's to fuck all games. left to see. I know, yeah. Matt's pretty much missed everything. You know, it's something that we've seen in the movies. But we were actually... I mean, really all he missed was the no gameplay, no hype for Bioware's new title. Yeah. I've been Burnout Need for Speed Edition. Uh, Battlefield 1 yeah, DLC, much, sports that nobody cares about. I mean, really all he m yeah, and then all he really missed was that co-op game, that game, that looked pretty cool, Yeah, that looks good, that's, that's probably the best and thing so far. This looks, why is it NBA now? Yeah, wh wh what, 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 <laughs> okay, no. <laughs> they just fucking said, uninterrupted, only, Star Wars, and then... Yeah, no, that was, that was, a, that was, a, that was, a, that was a mess up. <laughs> People are saying NBA <laughs> DLC. That was a lie. People are saying NBA DLC in the chat. That's funny. <laughs> LeBron DLC. Okay, this looks fun. Yeah. But it's just that, no, seriously, that pre order was bullshit. So the heavy class is great. They got a bit more health than your average trooper. They're also able to pop that combat shield, try to push into areas. So you can see those guys. Oh, come on, out. These things that they're flying right there, that's actually a droid. Not just a ship. That is an actual droid. Oh, well, that's weird. Yeah. Yeah, I know, right? I think they're called raptor droids or something. Where even is this? Like, what what's Star Wars World? Oh, my gosh. Lol. Oh <laughs> my yeah, gosh, this is, this people is, in the chat being all racist, is, um, people in the stream chat putting up like Muslim photos on the uh, stream because the guy drove into a building or he, he you know, he flew into a building. Oh my gosh. Well, it's what they do. Uh, and the Muslims geez. that don't do it, they're not true Muslims. Allah. Oh my gosh. Basically, um, basically what, uh, what those things, what this is said in, because these are clones, not, you know, stormtroopers. This is in the pre-sequel. Oh, pre sequels, yeah, yeah prequels. Prequels. Pre -sequels. Pre -sequels. Pre prequels, prequels. Borderlands. Uh, and I was like, wait, that's not right. Yeah, no, it's the prequels because it's uh, yeah, because it's storm it's uh, clone wars instead of or clone troopers instead of storm troopers. Oh, okay. Yeah, those are called raptor droids, but the droid, those like very sleek ones, those things that look like H's, I... How do you know so much about Star Wars? Before, but... Nigga, Star Wars is awesome! Nah, I didn't know you were such a big fan this whole time. Like, I didn't know you, you knew this much about it. Do you even like the, uh, oh, Star Wars is awesome. did, he, did he like the prequels? Okay, so like, I saw them when I was a kid, and I liked them, but... I'm pretty sure I was just a stupid ass kid and I didn't know, you know, any better. And I'm pretty sure if I go and watch them now, because my brother actually has the whole fucking set, I bet they're gonna be pretty garbage, because again, it's that... It was cool, but again, the whole... The tried... Uh, it's just a whole lot of... It's, it's... They're not as good as the originals. Mostly just because the actual acting is garbage. Yeah, well, I mean, the, the script's because probably the first problem, like the story, and the, the then, uh, you know, the, oh, what do you call, what do you call the, uh, like, the, 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 the things that created, uh, Anakin, like, the, like, the, oh my gosh, no, it was like, um, it was like his, his mother was impregnated with, uh, something, I can't remember the name of it now. Alright, never mind. I can't remember. Yeah, I was like, what? It was like chromatoids or whatever. I, I can't remember at all. I'm gonna look this up, actually. This is annoying me now. 
Oh, what, you mean the scientific reason of uh, why people can use the Force? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What were they called? That was one of the reasons. Yeah, okay, so originally, um, the original aspects and the original, like, thought of actual Star Wars was basically, here's all this science fiction stuff, but let's add some actual, like, myth and mystery. Midichlorians, and stuff, like, actual, that's what I was thinking like, of. Power. Midichlorians. Yeah, midichlorians, yeah. Midichlorians, yeah, people didn't like them because, basically, it put science behind, basically, space magic. It put science behind space magic, which that's, everybody hated. But it's it's lore, it's canon, and but basically they've completely gone like, oh, there is science that explains exactly how people use the force and people can interact with it. But they've completely like, as soon as that huge fuck off midichlorian shouldn't be a thing, they've completely like gone like, oh, okay, so yeah, it's still very pretty mystical, but it's mostly the it's it is lore. It is lore. You can't change it. Yeah. Midichlorians are lore. Wah, wah. Yeah, pretty much. So yeah, so we're just gonna get like a full match of this then. I'm a bit confused. Like okay, like I kinda get the point, I know how multiplayer works, but again this really does show how little they have to show this conference. Yep. Yeah, because the conference last year was uh, pretty much an hour exactly long. Uh, we're already like 55 minutes, or 65, sorry, minutes into this. Ugh. What do you mean, what happened there? He died. <laughs> he got shot. What do you mean, what happened there? Are you retarded? These are the people who made the game as well, saying that. The guy just flew right behind him. Uh, we get it. It's oh, I keep on getting buffer. This is bullshit. Yeah, I just got buffer as well. Yeah, everyone, everyone in the chat's going lag as well. Mm. Well, okay, yay, motherfucking. Uh, all right, someone just put out in the chat, no droidicas. Oh, that's not. Oh, there better be some droidicas. Those are like the best. What are they? Oh, uh, the rolly, the rolling droids, the ones that like curl up and then oh roll yeah, yeah towards people. Okay. And they have personal shields. I mean, they can't move. And they can barely move and shoot because they're mostly just stationary turrets that have shields that basically allow them to just not give a shit. Yeah, that was that was kind of cool. And that that takedown. Like whenever that ship kind of spun out of control. Right, I don't see any droid because I only see super battle droids. I only see super battle droids. People are saying there's a lag, uh, you know, like the gameplay lag, maybe because of like the actual server they're in, which would be hilarious if it was because the beta. Yeah, it would be. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah like, the there's lag. like stuttering, like in the game. That's why people are saying lag because it's kind of stuttering, a little bit. How funny would it be if it was because they're playing in the server, like the game oh, no, itself has it. lag. Yeah, I saw it right there. Like it's not even like the live stream; it's the gameplay that has lag. There's only like 13 people playing, and they're all in the same room and the same desk. How could there be lag? Holy shit, that's not good. Okay, so Matt. Hey, oh, was that Matt? Yeah, I invited him. Oh, right, okay. So, okay, well, we're waiting for yeah, the next one. Yeah, wait until I Also, what, also, okay, what okay. channel are we on? Uh, I'm on the EA channel. Uh, I'm on the IGN channel. Yeah, but you can go on Basically, Twitch as well. Fuck all. I think I know, actually, I think Basically, I'm on Twitch. No, so I'm on all. Twitch. I'm on the Twitch channel. Yeah, I'm on Twitch. I'm on Twitch with. Yeah, oh right, okay. But basically, okay, so saying, fuck like, all. Which Twitch channel? Is it EA? Twi Twitch no, Twitch Twitch. What? Twitch is Twitch channel. Oh, Twitch Twitch. Yeah, he's on Twitch. Yeah, he's on Twitch Twitch. I'm on IGN's just because I keep on getting buffering. I don't know about yeah. you. Uh, you're, pre you're pretty much near the end. We're on uh, Battlefront 2 gameplay. Yeah. Like a full multiplayer match. Uh, yeah, Battlefront. Is, uh, is it a tank right now that we're seeing right now? Yeah, so close enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm working okay, on the so Okay, so basically, fuck all, and most of it was just sports, don't give a shit. But they did show off a trailer, very short trailer, for the new Bioware IP. Fuck! You didn't, you, no, but you, yeah, you literally missed nothing. You missed about, you missed about two, like, five second videos. 
There was a wall, there was a monster, there was a grimy town, and then was there was Dylan? a power suit. Was it, it was Dylan, wasn't it? I don't fucking know. It, I forgot what it was called. I think that's what their new thing is called. It's like called. It's, it's called Dylan. No, it's called yeah, Anthem. That's the, that's, the, that's, the, that's the code name. It's called Anthem. That's the actual name of it. But it's just like you missed fuck all. There was a monster. There was a jungle. There was a storm. There was a wall. There was a grimy city, and then there was a power suit. That's all you yeah. saw. There was fuck all, dude. Yeah. Oh, more buffer. Uh, the only good thing we've. Seen, the is only thing is we it, actually is really can't see... Or is the audio for Twitch like really fucking low? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. There's Darth Maul. Yeah, he's running around. Yeah. Cause him to, Why you know, did that take so many hell. hits just to kill that one? I don't know. Why did that life oh, take so many hits to oh, kill sorry, that one? Oh, sorry, hang on. I, I, need to, I need to come off of this. this is, I've got Ray's commentary at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> well, um... Uh, <laughs> well, uh... Yeah, what else was there? There is... Why the hell? No, no go on, Zach. Guys out the, the no, seriously, why the hell did it take so many hits from especially a double lightsaber to kill one fucking goddamn... Probably did not make him, like, overpowered. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no. He's overpowered, excuse me? He is! He's Darth Maul! Are you shitting me? He is overpowered! Darth Maul is the best Sith. Well, no, well, no surprise. Well, no, no, he's not. Yes, yes, he is. Well, actually, I will say, I wouldn't challenge Zack on Star Wars, considering he knows, like, everything about it. Yeah, but also considering how a lot of it is non Considering how a lot of it is non He's one of the coolest. He's one of the coolest. No, they're bringing in a lot. They're bringing in a lot, but no, he is one of the coolest. If that you mean... If that's what you mean by the best, he's one of the coolest yes. Sith, yes, but he's not the best Sith. He, he's, he's my favorite character. Okay, well there you go, that, that's, that's understandable. That's totally understandable, of course, he is, yeah. But it's just like, he's not the best Sith. Um, what was I gonna say? He's pretty uh, high up there, but he's not compared to. Yeah, we got him. Um, uh, yeah, we. One thing you did miss. Yeah, we got a. Uh, you tell him about the co-op one. Yeah, we we have, there's a co-op game that's coming out from the same guys that did. Uh, you know, you remember Brothers: A Tale of Two Sons that you played? Yes. The same company that did that. They're making a a co-op exclusive story game, like story campaign game. Uh, and you play as a. Uh, yeah, you play as like two, two prisoners. And you break out of prison basically, and you, I don't know, what, like, you just kind of do stuff whenever you leave. But it's, it's a full story, and it's like co uh, only co op. So it looked pretty cool. They did a full like 15 minutes on that. So that was really yeah, enjoyable. That was like the only good stuff here. Besides this, that was like really the only good thing. Oh, uh, there was also. Need for Speed, Need for Speed uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. Payback. Uh, it was a bit, no, but, but it was like, it's like Burnout. You ever heard Burnout? You know the racing series? Yes! Yeah, it's like that. Yes, but is the best race yeah, it's like, oh, it's like that. It's like you crash into people and like they, you wreck them, like they get wasted. Uh, a lot so of there's explosions. a lot of that. Yeah. And it's a uh, it's the campaign oh, is the campaign's a like GTA 5 where you play as three like main characters. So it's it's not bad. Oh. oh. Why the hell is Ray? May. Question. I, mean, I just need to say May. It's Ray. Why the hell is she there? I'm fucking sorry. What? Why? Because it's because she's relevant. That's why. No, but she has nothing to do with this story. Oh well, I guess that was Boba Fett. No, that was Django Fett. Yeah, okay. But okay, no, that was Boba. Darth Maul does. Darth Maul has. Well, no, <laughs> no, 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 yes, because no, because look, it's fucking clone troopers versus fucking droids. Darth Maul was there, but I guess I guess we can't make a shit because that was actually Boba Fett, not Django Fett. I guess these. Yeah. I guess it. Cause I just remember in the original Battlefront, you couldn't have, you know, you couldn't have people from other timelines as heroes. Cause also, you're cause also, don't forget on Battle on the first Battlefront game, you Darth Vader should, you can get Darth Vader as a hero, but he never was on Hoth. Yeah. But I mean, I guess who else would? No, he was there. I don't remember him being there. He was there like at the end. He was literally for the battle. It was when like they were leaving. He was there. Oh, so can I say these are my favorite droids? The ones that are Roger, Roger. Oh yeah. Yeah, the yeah they actually droids. did that as well we at the beginning. We haven't seen though. We haven't okay, seen any droidicas though. Question though, is this the only Star Wars thing they showed so far? Uh, yeah. Yeah. But it's, it's been this. Oh, as you know, because okay, they did they did a trailer for the campaign as well. But you didn't really learn much. Yeah. Okay, that that that's not what I'm on about. It's like. Because apparently there's still the Star Wars game from Visceral Games. Oh no, they haven't, they haven't done that yet, no. From so it's just been Battlefront 2 <laughs> so far. <laughs> yeah, it's just been Battlefront 2. But they said there's a, they're going to do 30 minutes of Star Wars, and they said that at quarter 2. So we got about, well, it's now a quarter past, so 
This is probably just going to be it. By the way, Zach, whenever they s remember the guy said that they've got an explosive finale. Is this what they were talking about, or is there one more thing after this? You know. Did he say that? I was guess I was talking about it because yeah. I just heard buzzwords, 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 and I usually just also Han Solo. Also Han Solo just got fucked up by Darth Maul. So <laughs> yeah, this, yeah, this, whole, no, I, I this guess whole timeline thing is fucked. <laughs> yeah, I guess the whole you can now have any hero you want in any uh, any hero you want. The tip is <laughs> run away, maybe run away, <laughs> run away. And just shoot. I might end up rewatching re re the whole thing oh, on like yeah. Muselk? What the hell? I just want to see his fucking. <laughs> Wait, I know who Muselk is. I don't. Well, he came first. Well, guys, that was it. What Excuse me? What the hell? What was Muselk doing there? I like how I like how this isn't even a stage. Exactly. That's like some random. Yeah, the stage is even that good this year for e for EA at least. Like you'll yeah, see, like it's like, not an actual like venue. It's like just a random like cafe. It's not even. It looks like a cafe. Wow, nice flying asshole. Yeah, he. That was funny. Again, more twist, shabby, and racist. After that, I don't, I don't, I don't know what that one is. I don't know what that fucking. What is that ship? Hey Pete, doesn't that look like the um the Walker thing from the Walker Beast from Kids of War? Yeah, that's yeah. It looks about like it. Uh, I think those are called ATETs. Did he phone home? Because hmm. AT is all terrain, and then yeah. I don't know what ET is. Extra terrestrial. Alright, oh, they're really stalling for time for showing like highlights. <laughs> yeah, so this is some stuff I guess you missed, yeah. Matt. Just look at this, this laser fire. Oh, okay. So far, I don't care. Well, all, yeah, I don't really care because they, because no, seriously, the first one was garbage because again they just kept on releasing DLC after DLC, splitting up the player base that was already pretty small, and then even before that, when the game was released, it's just like, oh hey, here's this pre-order gun that completely dominates every other gun. I don't know, a lot of the unlocks were bullshit. Yeah. Exactly. yeah. Also, no single player, so you know. And no space battles. We've got a chance for you guys. Apparently, there was. You do. You do. All you have to do is come and play. Apparently, you do, but it's probably a DLC. That doesn't count. It doesn't count. Yep, pretty much. Pardon you. So far, that's my opinion of this. So far, from what I see. Yeah, pretty much. No, it's been garbage the whole time. Best thing I've seen so far, Darth Maul. Best thing. Of course. Wait, was what? Oh, Darth Maul. Yeah. Alright, we get it. So are we done, or is there one more game, or what? The Galaxy of Heroes, I don't Galaxy care about. Hero. That's a, yeah, that's a fucking bullshit mobile game. Oh, he's so full of shit! Of shit. Of <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. It's funny how, like, every time an EA conference happens, everyone in the chance talks about Skate 4. They're like, please, Skate 4! Uh, it's like the EA Half-Life 3. They're so full of shit! They're so stick-sucking lying! Here's like, oh, I, I totally played oh, these great, mobile so I games! I, I, I get home at the end because work was bullshit. Fuck you, work. <laughs> yeah, no. Right, okay, here we go, right. Final thing, maybe. Oh, we got something? Okay, let's thank see. You, everyone. Let's stay full. And thank you to the real rock stars. I hope it is. Show. The development teams inside EA. You are truly amazing. Yay. Now, we can't wait. Can you start reading off the script, more please? <laughs> and there's more coming. Stay tuned online for a closer look at some of our biggest games. And remember, EA Play is for all of you. Our players, thank you all for joining us. Now let's play. What? 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 Okay. What is that? It or? Now let's play. Uh, excuse me. That phrase. Galaxy of Heroes. Nice. Let's mute it. Can't even hear that. Can't even hear anything. Thank you. Uh, mobile yeah, game. That's nice. They're gonna end this conference on a mobile game. Yeah, they're garbage. They started it with Madden 18. Oh yeah, that was fun. Madden, 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 Madden 18 was gonna have like, did they show the story mode for it that was rumored to be in it? 
Uh, yeah, they did actually. Hey, yeah, but it wasn't anything to. Oh, you're missing Star Wars Galaxy of Hero. Heroes, even. So, was that it? That was it! The end of the mobile game. That was. Uh, oh my god, that was so that's shit! Pathetic. That's pathetic. They ended the EA conference on a mobile game. What? The it is. They should have ended it on, like, something that they haven't shown before. Which should have been the flippin' IP. Actually, yeah, what they said as well was, they said that, because we only got like a 15 second teaser trailer, they said that more of Anthem will be revealed in the Microsoft conference. So they could even show like their brand new IP in their own conference. They have to wait until Microsoft. Well, that's because, again, again, they pro again, Microsoft probably paid a fuck ton of money to EA to do yeah. that. Just because they go like, okay, we seriously need games. I'm not again, surprised. I don't give a flying shit. I don't give a flying shit about a brick that is, oh, so new and shiny. That could possibly play games better and make them look better when they've oh, got fuck all again. new games for. Oh, it's literally like you a know? flipping Final Fantasy, like uh, turn place, turn based no, cause thing. Because even Final Fantasy isn't that anymore. No. Oh well, what it um, used to be. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I, wish it, stuff. I wish it was turn based though, but it's not. Well, that was okay, very exciting. On. So, there uh, is Samuel Jackson. Um, first time here at EA Play. So, I got a problem with Asajj Ventures, because Asajj Ventures actually turned into a great job. Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna mute yourself. this crap. Alright, so, well, I mean, I can't really speak, I can't really ask for oh, Matt's, because Matt was barely there. Oh, they're actually interviewing no. people. Are you shitting me? Yeah, that's they're the point. They're interviewing Talk. people about this mobile game. Are yeah. That's why they're ending on a mobile game. This is garbage. Yeah, so I can't really, I can't, I can't really ask Matt, because Matt was only came in for the final 10 minutes. Zach, how do you find EA's, uh, 2017 press conference. Buzzwords! 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 Crap! 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 No gameplay, no hype! Okay, this prison game actually looks pretty cool. And Star Wars! Hopefully this version doesn't have a broke-ass pre-order gun that basically breaks the game. I still won't play it. And show who's poor Yeah, I probably won't play it either. But, it looks... It's not the Star Wars game I won. So yeah, we had, um... We had a lot of sports. A lot of Star Wars, and everything that wasn't that was actually kind of interesting. But aside from that, very boring press conference. Not as good as their last one. In fact, so I need to look up this co op game then. I need to look that yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, just look yeah. it up. Uh, I'll, I'll link it to you afterwards. But yeah, first conference of the year, not a great start. <laughs> oh well. Garbage!